welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Yesterday, I talked about the death of conspirator John Somerville on the 19th of December 1583, a man who was said to have committed suicide after being found guilty of treason for conspiring to kill Queen Elizabeth I. He wasn't the only person to have been condemned for high treason for that alleged conspiracy. His father-in-law, Edward Arden, was also found guilty. And on this day in Tudor history, the 20th of December 1583, he was hanged, drawn and quartered at Smithfield and his head displayed on London Bridge along with that of Somerville. I'll share a link to yesterday's video in the description. But today, let me tell you more about Edward Arden and his involvement in this conspiracy. Edward Arden was born in around 1532-1533 and was the son of William Arden from Warwickshire, a second cousin of William Shakespeare's mother, Mary Arden. In 1545, Edward became his grandfather Thomas's heir following the death of his father, William. His grandfather died in 1563 and Edward inherited Park Hall in Warwickshire, an estate which is now in the West Midlands rather than Warwickshire. There, as a Catholic recusant, Edward kept a Catholic priest, Hugh Hall, who was disguised as a gardener. Edward was married to Mary Throckmorton, daughter of Sir Robert Throckmorton of Coat and Court, and his first wife, Muriel Barclay. The couple had three children, Robert, Margaret and Catherine. Their daughter, Margaret, married John Somerville, the man I talked about yesterday. In 1575, Edward served as Sheriff of Warwickshire. And Edward didn't get on with fellow Warwickshire landowner Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester. He refused to wear his livery, he refused to sell property to him, and he made disparaging remarks about the Earl and his marital history. Not a great idea when that Earl is close to the Queen. In October 1583, Edward's son-in-law, John Somerville, who appears to have been mentally ill, was arrested after he'd spoken of his intention to shoot and kill the Queen. It is said that during interrogations on the 31st of October, Somerville implicated Edward by saying that he was inspired to assassinate the Queen when he heard Edward's priest speak against the Queen in front of him and Edward. This led to Edward's arrest and imprisonment in the Tower of London, which he was taken to on the 7th of November. At a trial on the 16th of December 1583, Somerville pleaded guilty to treason, while Edward, his wife Mary and their priest Hugh Hall pleaded innocent. They were all found guilty. On the night of the 16th of December, after bribing the Lieutenant of the Tower's servant, Edward was able to have a last meal with his wife. On the 19th of December 1583, Edward and Somerville were transferred to Newgate Prison, where Somerville was found dead in his cell just hours after their arrival. It was claimed that his death was suicide. On this day in Tudor history, the 20th of December 1583, Edward Arden suffered a full traitor's death at Smithfield. The heads of Edward and Somerville were displayed on London Bridge as a warning of the fate of traitors, and their remains were buried at Moorfields. Edward's wife and priest were spared. As a traitor, Edward's property was confiscated by the Crown, but his son Robert did manage to regain much of it later. Edward's biographer, William Wiseman, notes that his contemporaries found the case against him suspicious and blamed it on the Earl of Leicester's vengeance. Wiseman writes, the dropping of charges against the other defendants and the releasing of Mary Arden only made it more likely that he was the victim of a grave iniquity. Tomorrow, I'll be talking about a Tudor feast day and what it has to do with begging, pies and India. Do make sure you're subscribed. You can click right there and that you've hit the bell so you don't miss out on finding all about that. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 20th of December, 1541, a very sickly Agnes Tilney, Dowager Duchess of Norfolk, begged Henry VIII's forgiveness 
The Dowager Duchess had been arrested and taken to the Tower, accused of misprision of treason for hiding her step-granddaughter Catherine Howard's past relationship with Francis Derham. Find out what she wrote to the King and what happened to her in last year's video. You'll find that in the description. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>